AMD's latest RX 7900 XT and XTX cards have major temperature issues and here's why. Many reviewers have noticed a significant gap between the average GPU temperature and the GPU hotspot reading with deltas as high as 30 degrees celsius. Pretty funny since AMD mocked Nvidia for their 4090 power connector issues and now they're having problems themselves. Apparently uneven cooler contact may be the source of the issue as laying the case on its side has been shown to significantly significantly reduce the temperature of the GPUs. That and of course following this channel for more tech news because that always helps. And unfortunately if this is the case the only way the cards could be fixed would be to just completely take them apart and remount the cooler or possibly having to redesign the entire cooler mounting system. So for right now I'd say stay away from AMD's own cards and just go with third party options. So pretty ironic that AMD was poking fun at Nvidia and now they you know they have an issue of their own with their new cards that have just been launched just as nvidia uh so these cards are running hot but they are running hot in very specific circumstances so first of all here we have an image from gamers nexus where you can sort of see uh the contacts that are made with the actual gpu die and the cooler so as you can see the contacts right over here are like really quite great but then on the bottom here they're not really that great so this could definitely be part of the issue uh, however this comment is very interesting so the 7900 XTX, while oriented horizontally, so this is how it would normally sit in a computer case, you know, you just have your case and then you have your GPU right over here. So this is the normal basic orientation. So at stock power target of 350 watts, pretty much, uh, the temps uh, rise up to 110 degrees Celsius, which is obviously too hot. So it throttles itself down to 305 watts to keep it from crashing and at a hundred percent fan rpm which i imagine is so loud to the point where the card is pretty much unusable unless you have some pretty nice uh, noise blocking uh, headphones you know definitely not something like what i use which is open back uh, because that would just be painful uh, to use the whole day and the very weird thing is that the card has a different behavior while vertically oriented so instead of horizontally you know it would be sort of oriented like this uh, and can manage the stock 350 watts with a target temperature of 93 degrees and a fan rpm between 60 and 70 percent which uh, is probably like the exact thing that the card should run at stock out of the box so as of this point people are speculating that there's something wrong with the contact between the cooler and the actual uh die of the gpu so and the unfortunate thing in this situation is that you can't really fix th this easily you know obviously you could just tilt your computer on its side for pretty much forever but that's not really an that's not really a realistic fix you know that you would have to change your entire computer setup just for your gpu to not basically be overheating all the time so it's quite unlikely that this is uh, an issue with the drivers or something like that that really would not make sense at all which would mean that if you have one of these cards and you would actually want them to work properly you would probably need to send them back to AMD. Sure, you could take it apart yourself if it's a cooler mounting issue. Maybe it's just not tight enough or whatever, then you could fix it yourself. But then your warranty would probably expire. So quite an unfortunate, messy issue. So for right now, I would just recommend, since this is only affecting AMD's own cards, uh, sure, you know, if you want a 7900 XT or XTX, uh, go out and buy one, but just don't buy them from AMD. Don't buy those models. Buy them from third-party manufacturers like ASUS, XFX, MSI, and so on.